Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Uh, I'm out here working on some stuff. I was uh, starting to build on a vertical smoker. And I'm actually I'm doing a video right now on some uh, small fire pits on these right here. That's two of them anyway. It goes with that big order I had. I had six of the big ones. That's the sixth one over there. And there's three of these small ones. And I was doing a video on these small ones. But while, was, while I've been doing these fire pits, I was working on cutting out stuff for a vertical smoker at the same time and putting it to the side. And man, I made a bad mistake. A bad mistake. And I wasn't even going to do a video on it. I said, well, I might as well share this because this might help somebody. And, and, and pretty much everybody that works with steel knows this already. But people would do it just like I did and get beside theirself and not take the extra step. And now today, I'm paying the cost for it. So anyway, what I ended up doing, I cut the, all these panels out of square. Once you do the first one like that, the rest of them are just going to keep going out of square right along with them. And... Uh, so I put the thing together, or started putting it together, and by the time I could get it all together, I realized something was bad, wrong. I had to cut it all apart, and I'm having to spend the day re-squaring, re-cutting everything, cleaning, and it's a waste of time, not to mention a waste of fuel, waste of grinding blades. So let me show you what I did. This is one of the side panels for it. There's one of the panels. Here's one. I already squared this one up, luckily. But anyway, this is what happened. Can you see that? If you can see that chalk line on there. And the one on this side. That's how much this thing is out of square. You see how it gets down to nothing on that end. And comes back this way. That's how far it's out of square. So I'm telling you, even though this thing measures the same width wise on both ends all the way through. Measures the same length wise all the way through it's still out of square bad i didn't take the time to square it when i was cutting them i thought i had it right and i was trying to hurry and save some time and sometimes it can be hard to, on something that big it can be hard to do it by yourself but what you need to do if you don't already know how to square something to square a rectangle or a square let me show you on this one if i can do it with one hand hook on your corner right there if you if you can reach it, I, I cut an inch off, put it on the inch, and then go all the way across. But you can usually get it pretty right by hooking that. Just make sure you hook it the same on both sides. And come all the way over to your other corner. You see how that's 40 and 5 sixteenths, just a hair under 3 eighths. Your corner should be the same. On something this size, I mean, you could probably get away with a sixteenth or so. And that one's 40 and 5 sixteenths. So this one is squared up now. But it was just the same as this one. Because, like I say, once you cut that first one out of square, and you're steady going out of the same sheet, everything's going to be out of square from there on until you stop it. And I didn't stop it, so... Now, lucky me, I get to spend the whole day recutting everything and re-cleaning everything. And, uh, man, it's a valuable, a valuable tip, I'm telling you. This thing is at least... Almost an inch out of square. Three quarters of an inch out of square at least. So man, if you're cutting a bunch of squares, a bunch of rectangles, take the time and measure that thing side to side. And I normally do. I just, like I say, I've done it so much that I got beside myself and thought I was okay. And I wasn't okay. <laughs> so now i got to pay the price for it. So, and I actually, the bottom, the bottom and the top part, I cut it square, but now I'm going to have to cut it down to fit those, you know, after they've been re-squared. So, man, it's just, it's a horrible mistake. So if you're doing something like that, trying to build a vertical smoker or a box or anything, anything with a bunch of square panels or rectangle panels, take the time to try to square it diagonally. And uh, I got the, the marks I got on there I did with the framing square. There's a factory edge on this side. So I just used a framing square to come off of it by putting it up there and getting my mark. So anyway, I got to get back to fixing all this stuff. That tip right there I'm telling you is going to save you a lot of trouble one day. You'll get lucky 99% of the time and have everything cut right and then that one time. And it's usually going to happen when you're in a hurry and ain't got time to mess with it. 
So take the time to square your stuff up. And I'm telling you, you'll thank me for it later. If you don't already do it, you'll thank me for it later. So anyway, man, hope that helps somebody. I got to get back working on this thing.